be all the glory. Hallelujah. So today, people of God, the Lord God wants us to have another message. And praise the Lord. If you want to hear the message, uh, kagina sang first service, pwede ka mo maka lantaw ka ron sa live or makabisit sa aton nga gina live sa subong or sa video natin. Hallelujah. I can feel the put in my spirit, people of the Lord, that the Lord God is preparing another message to us. This is the right and perfect time for us to be strong. Amen. I give this message to the pastors yesterday at Lemery. Hallelujah. And I want to share this message also to you. The title of the message of God today is Be Strong and Do Not Fear. Amen. Be strong and do not fear. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Merry Christmas, everyone. Can you please rise as we read our text? From the book of Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10, let us read it together. In a Hiliganon translation, it says, Hindi ka magkahadlok kay kaupod mo ako. Hindi ka magkabalaka kay ako ang imo Diyos. Pabaskugon ko ikaw kaguligan. Proteksyonan ko ikaw paagi sa akon, sa akon gahom nga magaluwas sa imo. Praise the Lord. Father, we thank you for your message today. Holy Spirit, we pray that you will move, that you will work in your own and mind's way. Thank you, Lord God, that you're a faithful God. Nga wala ka nagakawadaan ginoo sa mga mensahe. Salamat, Gid. To God be all the glory in Jesus' name. All victorious people of God will say, Amen. Praise God. Can you please sit down? So this is a beautiful message of the Lord again. Kakinahamba sa ginoo. Hallelujah. Just believe. Kakinaginambalan kita sa ginoo. Nga magpati lang kita. Pero subong ginahambalan naman kita sa ginoo. Magpakaisog naman kita. Amen. We are now in the right and perfect time, people of God, that we can embrace the words of the Lord. When the Lord God says, do not fear. Do not fear. Fear Clayford, anything. Bisan ano pa, hindi mo dapat kahadlukan for I am with you. Do not be afraid for I am your God. I will strengthen you, be assured I will help you. I will certainly take hold of you with my righteous right hand. A hand of justice, of power, of victory and of salvation. To God be all the glory that today, people of God, is a day that the Lord God is encouraging each one of us that we need to be strong, that we need to be strengthened, that we need people of God to say that God is great, that God is good, and His love endures forever. Who among you in this room will say the love of God endures forever? The mercy of God never comes to an end. Amen. So today, people of God, the Lord God is introducing to us His name. The, the one of the powerful name, the name of Jesus is so powerful. But the Lord God wants you, people of God, to remember that one of His name is Emmanuel. When the Lord God says that I am your Emmanuel, I am always with you. Amen. Say this word, the Lord God is always with me. The Lord God never leave me nor forsake me. The Lord God will create a beautiful story in my life. The Lord God is great. The Lord God is good. When the Lord God says, do not fear, I am with you. Do not be afraid for I am your God. Amen. Hallelujah. Look at people of God, Joshua. This is a beautiful story, people of God, of Joshua. When the Lord God said to him, Joshua, do not be afraid. Joshua, do not be afraid. When the Lord God gave Joshua, people of God, a commission, and he said, Joshua, do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. Hallelujah. Now it happened after the death of Moses and the servants of the Lord. The Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, and Moses' servant attended and saying, Moses, my servant is dead. Now therefore arise to take this place. Amen. Now therefore arise to take this place. You have to cross over this Jordan, you and all these people, and to the land which I am giving them, which I am giving to them. To the sons of Israel, I have given you every place on which the sole of your foot trades. Just as I promised to Moses. Verse 4, it says, from the wilderness, 
hallelujah, of Arabia, in the south, in this Lebanon, in the north, even as far as the great river, the river Euphrates in the east, all the land of Hittite, Canaan, and as far as the great Mediterranean Sea towards the west shall be your territory. This is the promise of the Lord to Joshua and he said, No man will be able to stand before you. No man will be able to oppose you as long as you live. Just as I was present with Moses, so I will be with you. The Lord God is saying this to you, Joshua. Do not be afraid in this last this journey because this is the story of heaven through you. You are victorious in the name of Jesus, more than conquerors in Jesus' name. And the Lord God says what you are going to do is just to be still and know that God is God and God is great. Amen. No one can assault you. No one can oppose you. No one can destroy the perfect plans of heaven in your life. And the Lord God says to Moses again, uh, to Joshua again, I will not fail you or abandon you. I will not fail you nor abandon you. But you have to be strong and confident and courageous. For you will give these people as an inheritance the land which I swore to their fathers' ancestors to give them. Hallelujah. Again, the Lord God says to Joshua, only be strong and very courageous. Be careful to do everything in accordance with the entire law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left. So that you may prosper and be successful wherever you go. Wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. But you shall read and meditate on it day and night. So that you will be careful to do everything in accordance with all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous. And then you will be successful. This is the message of the Lord not only to Joshua. But this is also the message of the Lord to you, Joshans. And the Lord God says, I will not abandon you. I will not forsake you. For you are not an illegitimate child. You have a father. And your father is the creator of everything. Everything was controlled by our father. And the Lord God says, hallelujah. You have to meditate my promise. You have to meditate my law. You have to meditate my word day and night. Because the word of God itself us green pastures and will bring us into the place of success amen say to yourself i am not defeated i am victorious i am successful i am rich i am not sickly i am healthy i am fit to work and to embrace the great commission in these last days the lord says to joshua do not focus on the thing that your naked eye sees that distract my very purpose in your life. Do not give special attention to the word that your natural senses, people of God, heard that can bring defeat and confusion in your glorious journey. And this is also the message of the Lord to you. Soak yourselves in the process of the Lord. Learn His ways, people of God. Embrace the promises of God. And stand and live according to what He is saying to you. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And during the time of the 11, when the Lord God gave them, people of God, a great commission, Jesus gave them also a promise. And the Lord God says from the book of Matthew chapter 28, verse 16 to 20, Joshua was given a great commission to lead the people of God into the place of promise. The 11 people of God disciples also received this word from Jesus. And then Jesus said to them in verse 16, Now the 11 disciples went to Galilee. To the mountain which Jesus had designated. And when they saw him, they worshipped him. But some doubted. But some doubted. I don't know people of God out of that 11 sin on a doubt. And the Bible says people of God, the doubted disciples, his name is Thomas. I hope and I pray that the spirit of Thomas is not in you. That you will say, yes Lord, I believe. I believe in your name 
that even wala taka nakita, wala taka nabati, wala taka nabatian with my natural senses, but I know that you are alive. And I know the Lord God that you are existing. And I know that you are preparing greater things in my journey for your glory. Because it is you who leads me into the path of righteousness for your name's sake. The Lord God is great. And the Lord God says, people of God to his disciples, Jesus came up and said to the eleven, and said to them, All authority, say this word, all authority. All authority, all power of absolute rule in heaven and on earth has been given to me. And the Lord God says in verse 19, Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations. Help the people to learn of me, believe in me, and obey my words. So take note of this, people of God, your task. Hallelujah. Your task is to encourage people to learn about Jesus. Have to believe that Jesus is existing. That Jesus is powerful. And to obey people of God of what the Spirit of the Lord is saying according to His Word. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Teaching them to observe everything that I have commanded you in law. He promised from Joshua. Also given people of God to the disciples when he said, I am with you always. The Lord God to Joshua, you have to be strong. I will not leave you nor forsake you. And the Lord God said to the eleven, I am with you always, remaining with you perpetually, regardless of circumstance, regardless of every occasion, regardless of your situation, even to the end of the age, I will go with you, say yes the Lord. And this is also the message of the Lord in our generation when he says, you are not abandoned, you are not forsaken. I will send my spirit to be with you and to remind you of all my promises and to remind you of the Father's greatness, the Father's love. And God said to you, I am with you. If God is with you, who can be against you? This is the right time, people of God, for us that we can say, Lord God, there's no time to slip. There's no time to be discouraged. Wala na nito ni on na magsunggod ka sa akon. Kung gusto mo magwapa, kinanglan malipay kita para kay Jesus. Amen. There's no time, people of God, to embrace the spirit of discouragement. There's no time to embrace, people of God, the spirit of timidity. This is the right time for us to rise up and say, Yes, Lord God, I will embrace this great commission. I will embrace, hallelujah, your calling in my life. Only those who are commissioned. Kung sin o ang gin commission, ka kung sin o ang intagaan sa sinigatas, ka kung sin o ang nag-obey, gin o updan siya sa ginoo, kaghamba sa ginoo, asta sa katapusan sa kalibutan, updan ko ikaw. Oh my Lord. Hallelujah. In our time, people of God, the Lord God gave us a two-piece. The two peace people of God so that we can stand firm and remain strong in our end times journey. The first one, people of God, the two peace for victory. Of course, there is a very familiar word to us, people of God. The first one is the presence. Presence of God. Presence of God. From our text, it says, do not fear anything. Including, people of God, the COVID-19. Including the recession. You know these people of God that the world, hallelujah, is pressuring us. The world, people of God, is pressuring us. That even the Department of Education, people of God, is pressuring the children. Pressuring the parents, people of God. Now, ang mga parents, naging teacher naman. Hallelujah. There's no time, people of God, to talk, hallelujah, about the goodness of God inside the house. Hallelujah. Kaya nga, ah, tanan nga mga nanay, ara na gapong ko. Kaya nga, ah, malantaw man sa ilang mga kabataan. Kaya ang mga kabataan, basi hindi kayong chindi. The world, people of God, is pressuring us. But to God be all the glory if you only knew that this pressure is not for you. Pressure is only for the world because you are not in the world. 
Amen. We will experience this pressure, people of God. Hallelujah. If our heart is not aligned to the words of the Lord, if our heart is not connected, people of God, to the heartbeat of Jesus, especially his heartbeat in these last days, the presence of God when he says, for I am with you, do not be afraid, for I am your God. And that God who is great is our Father. Presence of the Lord. Presence of the Lord. During the time of Moses, the presence of God is very important. Because we know we believe people of God where the presence of God is present, there is always a blessing. During the time, hallelujah, the people of God in the wilderness, they experience a lot of miracles. In that wilderness, people of God, every day is a day of miracle. No. Every day is a day of miracle. No. Every hour is an hour of miracle. No. Every second of their lives, people of God, is a second of miracle. Every step that they have, people of God, it is a step of miracle. It is a step of It is a step of victory. What ang ginahamba lagi sa ginoo sa ila is just to believe that where the presence of God is, there is protection, there is blessing, there is provisions. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. The book of Exodus chapter 33, verses 13, hallelujah, to 15, it says, Now therefore I pray, this is people of God that pray of Moses when he said, If I have found favor in your sight, let me know your ways. So that I may know you, becoming more deeply and intimately acquainted with you. Recognizing and understanding your ways more clearly. Church, I hope and I pray that this will be our prayer. Lord, help me to understand your words clearly. Help me to understand and to recognize your plan in my life clearly. Do you believe, people of God, that the process of God in these last days is so clear, it's transparent, it's visible. Amen. It's visible. Why? Because you yourself, people of God, is a representation of His glory. Amen. The glory in the process of God become visible because of you. So what you're going to do is just to be in the process of God. Like what Moses prayed, people of God, and he says, at the continuation of this verse, and consider also that this nation is your people. And the Lord said, my presence shall go with you, and I will give you rest. I want to highlight, people of God, this word that says, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you believe, people of God, that rest in the Lord, hallelujah, is a restoration? The Lord God will restore everything that the enemy has taken from you for you to have that rest, people of God, for you to have that peace. Where the presence of God is, there is restoration. There is an encouragement. There is a satisfaction that we can say and declare, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Rest in the presence of God. Amen. Rest in the presence of the Lord. Savor, people of God. Hallelujah. The flavor of His favor. Woo! Amen. It's time for your people of God to savor. Sabura mga kauturan. Ang sabor sa iyang pabor sa imong kabuhi. Amen. Saburuso nga pabor. Amen. It's time for you to savor people of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The flavor of God's favor in your life. When the Lord God says, My presence will go with you and I will give you rest. By bringing you in the people into the promised land. And Moses said to him, If your presence does not go with me, do not lead us up from here. Amen. You know, people of God, in this last day's journey is so exciting, if you only knew. If we will, if we will focus, people of God, on the pandemic, if we will focus our eyes, people of God, to this trans, uh, mga, um, uh, we, call, we call this shifting gagatabo sa kabuhi natin. 
if we will focus people of God, our eyes to the news about this virus, then makahambal kita. Kabudlay nagijas ang kabuhi. But this time, people of God, this is the encouragement of the Lord to us. Focus your eyes unto Jesus. And as you focus your eyes unto Jesus, the Lord God will give you His strength. The Lord God will give you His strength. The Lord God will give you His joy. The Lord God will create a beautiful story to you. His favor will not stop. His favor will not stop. And when the favor of God will not stop, the blessings will not also stop. Because where the process of God is present, there is always a blessing. Amen. Amen. Look at what, what the Lord God promised to Moses. In the morning, I will send a pillar of cloud to be with you. That pillar of cloud will represent my presence. In the evening, I will send a pillar of fire. And that pillar of fire will represent my presence. In our time, he sent his spirit 24-7. Never slept, no slumber. That even you are sleeping, the spirit of God is awakened. And the spirit of the Lord is guiding you, protecting you, fighting for you, giving you victory. Why? Because promise is a promise. When God says, I will send my spirit to guide and to protect you. And my presence will go with with you wherever you go. God's presence is so beautiful. In God's presence, there is peace. The word of God says in Psalm 16, 11, that in his presence, there is fullness of joy. In God's presence, there is restoration. When the Lord God says, yes, the enemy came to steal, to kill, and to destroy, but I came to restore everything and to give you life which is full of abundance. In the presence of God, there is encouragement. When the Lord God says, I have no plan to harm you, but my plan is to prosper you and give you hope and future. If you call on me, then I will answer you. If you seek me diligently, then I will show my glory and I will show my face to you. Say, yes, the Lord. Seek me seriously with all your heart and you will be encouraged every day. Say, yes, the God, so that you will be restored and you will live a peaceful life. In the process of God, there is satisfactions. Jeremiah 31 verse 40 when the Lord God says I, was, I will fully satisfy the soul of the priest with abundance and my people will be satisfied with my goodness say yes the Lord. The Lord God says, I will satisfy you with my goodness. The goodness of the Lamb. Everything, every food, people of God. Nga nakita mo din sa kalibutan. It is all intended for you. Satisfactions. In the presence of God, people of the Lord, there is endurance. So that you can say in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 19, Hallelujah, my grace is sufficient for you. My loving kindness, my mercy is more than enough. Always available. I want to highlight this word, people of God, when the Lord God says, oh, My grace is more than enough. My grace is always available for you. Regardless of your situation, for my power is being perfected and is completed and show itself more effectively in your witness. Woo! Woo! That we can say, yes, I am weak, but God is strong. I am not poor, but rich. The Lord God gave me strength to endure. Because the Lord God says, I will not allow testings that will happen in your life beyond your human strength to endure. Sa tanan na kabudlayan pagtilaw, ginsigurado sang Diyos na masarangan mo nga malampuwasan. For not by might, no, but power, but by the spirits of the Lord. The Lord God will not allow this testing to happen to us without His strength. He gave His strength to us for us to endure the test. Woo! So that your testing will turn into a glorious testimony. In the presence of God, there is comfort. The book of Exodus chapter 14 verse 14, he says, The Lord God will fight, hallelujah, for you while you only need to keep silent and remain calm. Siling sa ginoo, this is a comforting hands, a comforting words to you. Ako ang Diyos nagipag-away para sa inyo. 
kagindaog ko ng pakipag-away sini. Ang isa langit nga himuon nyo, magpakalinong ka mo ka magpahimunong. Amen. Hallelujah. Because sometimes people of God, wala kita nagapakalinong. Wala kita nagapahimunong. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Kaangay sa ginhamba sa pulong sa ginoo. Fret not. Be calm and fret not. Siling sang salmo. Sa hiligay nun, kung natawon natin hamba niya, magpahimunong ka kag hindi ka magsinuplada. Amen! Hallelujah! Magpahimunong ka kag hindi ka magsinuplado. Because people of God, if you're always, kung permi ka nag-fret, kung permi ka nag-sinuplado, kag permi ka nag-sinuplada, wala gisang comfort na maabot sa imo. Amen! 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 Habang natin tupad mo, tama na na nga sinuplada. Because in this last days, hindi ikaw kontra bida. In this last days, bida ikaw. Ang tanang na kontra bida, amulan na mga suplada. Pero mga anak sa ginumabot, kapal na magpahimunong, kapal na magpakalinong, sa ngalan ni Christo Jesus. And the Lord God says, Hallelujah, I will comfort you because I am fighting for you. What you are going to do is just to be still and calm. Woo! In the process of God, there is comfort, there is endurance, there is satisfaction, there is encouragement, there is restoration, there is peace. And the Lord God says, dwell in the presence of the Lord because everything you need is in the presence of God. Presence. Amen. Presence. When you stay in the process of God, then you will enjoy peace. When you stay in the process of God, then you will enjoy restoration. When you stay in the process of God, then you will be encouraged. When you say, stay in the process of God, then you will be satisfied. That the Lord God give you, will give you strength to endure. The Lord God will comfort you. So now the Spirit of God is saying this word to you. Everything you need is in the presence of God. Psalm 33 verse 22. Let your steadfast loving kindness, O Lord, be upon us and proportion as we have a hope in you. Amen. That even you have that little face, little hope, you can command this mountain to be removed. And the Lord God says, nothing is impossible to you. Say to yourself, stay in the presence of God. Amen. Lastly, the second piece, people of God, for victory is provisions. Provisions. The book of Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 from our text, it says, I will strengthen you, be assured I will help you. So the Kevin is shouting to each one of us, fear not for I am a with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord God is able to supply everything we need. Most of the time, people of God, wala natun, wala natun na enjoy ang presence sa ginoo. Wala natun na enjoy ang provision sa ginoo because of our wrong focus. Instead, people of God, of giving this attention or giving focus, people of God, of paying attention to God. Our focus is on our needs rather to the one who is able to supply everything we need. Amen. The Lord God is always with us. The book of Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10, it says, I will strengthen you, be assured I will help you. And this is the help in Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 when the Lord God says, And my God will liberally supply, fill until full. Your every need according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. The God of Paul is your God. The God of Jacob, Abraham, and Isaac is our God. If God supply everything they need, God also supply everything you need. And the Lord God says, in the midst of your enemy, I supply. Mighty Jesus. Mighty Jesus. 
When the Lord God says that even I prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies in Psalm 23. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You have anointed and refreshed my head with oil, my cup overflows. And this is the promise of the Lord. And Psalm 37 verse 25. I have been young and now I am old. Yet I have not seen the righteous. Those in right standing with God. Abandoned or his descendant pleading for bread. So the Lord God gave us provisions people of God. The three powerful weapons for victory. And the first one is his name. Amen. Most of the time, people of God, nagahambal kita, the Lord God forsake me. The Lord God abandoned me. I have no food to eat. But you know, people of the Lord, the Lord God says, use my name because there is power in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus, people of God, when you believe, it can create fried chicken, spaghetti, only mentioning the name of Jesus. Philippians chapter 2 verse 10 it says, So that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in submission of those who are in heaven and on earth and under the earth. Use the name of Jesus. Amen. You demons of infirmities, submit to the power of that name. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You demons of poverty. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You demons of sickness. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You have no reason. You have no right. You are not authorized to touch this temple of God. Jesus is in me. Another powerful weapon. What the Lord God gave us as His provisions, people of God, is the Word of God and worship. The Word of God and worship. To God be all the glory that John 1.1 1, 1, it says, In the beginning before all time was the Word Christ. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God Himself. This is what the Lord God is saying to you. Use the word of God in your prayer. In the name of Jesus, it was said, hallelujah, that God is able to supply everything I need. I stand in the word of God when he says, by his wrongs I am healed. I stand in the word of God that says, in Luke 1, 37, that in God nothing is impossible. I stand in the word of God that says, the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, that he blessed my coming in, he blessed my going out, that I am not a jail but a head, I am not a power. That's what the Lord God is saying. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The words of God, He gave you His word, and His word is God Himself. I can feel the process of God in this room. Another provisions, people of God, for your victory. Not only the name of Jesus, not only the word and the worship, but He gave you a words of declaration. Death in life is in the power of your tongue. And those who love it and indulge it will eat its fruit and bear the consequences of the words. So if there is power, people of God, in your tongue, anong dapat piliin mo? I will declare life. I will declare life. So tonight, people of God, come on, just rise up and declare life to your situation. Declare life to your finances. Declare life to your family. Declare life.